All right, Jayla's bringing us a way out of 2020. Very excited. A lot of pre-recorded footage for a supposedly live performance, but it's okay. We're accepting. We're not going to belabor such a minor point. A lot of, a lot of turning going on. It's exciting. City! Well, that's a dress. It's like they put a fluffy tent and she's on top. Um, quick vocal technique thing, because this is a voice education channel, and I know it, I don't want to just let something go without explaining it. Vocal fry. Uh, right? When your folds, uh, right, are loose and they just kind of flap together. That can be dangerous if you do it uh, one of two ways. One, you go up high and you do it, and that's not good. The other is if you use too much air. That is also not good. Um, she is doing it primarily in the lower register, and she is also doing it uh, with ve like very gently, very uh, idiomatic of pop singing, very little air. So she's doing it well. And it's a choice. It's an artistic choice. It's a little flavor, a little salt, a little seasoning. It's really important that as artists, as musicians who are singing, that we have a way of giving flavor to the words, to the text. And she is doing that. She's doing that actually rather well. She's clearly practiced and played with the words. Uh, having seen this before in an odd preparation of mine, I know that she's going to bring different rhythms, different emphasis on the words, different points in the... That's a crowd. That's not social distancing. Look at how packed everyone is. A faux criticism. A bad attempt at a joke. Don't worry about it. This is something that's really hard to do. She is working the stage. I know that's not singing technique talk, but it's really important as a performer, particularly for pop music. You have to learn to work the stage. You have to learn to be like really every little thing that she's doing. She's done a thousand times in front of an audience. She knows every little reaction an audience is going to have, whether or not they're there. She's actually having a perfectly, this is a perfect choice for a performer for like a, to end the year of like 2020 when we know we can't have an audience. She's got this stuff internalized. Look at how she's working it. She's working the cameras. She's cheating to this one right here. She knows that's the one that's on her. That's, in, that's on purpose. This, this is extraordinary experience coming into effect here. One of the things that could, if for a less experienced singer, all this strutting around and like pop movement right there, like pop and lock and all this like dance kind of movements that she's making, that would affect your breath. The reason why it's not affecting her breath is because when she did that like little leg kick, you can actually see, you can actually see that she doesn't contract her torso. This is very on purpose. Like all the struts and stuff. That torso is staying tall, right? She's bending at the hips, not the waist, right? Or not the not the stomach. She's bending at the hips. You have to practice these things, and it takes a lot of time. And it's hard to do. I'm going to give... This is a very heartfelt speech. If you want to uh, listen to it, go for it. It's very... Uh, I've just had enough of 2020, so as, as heartfelt as it is, I don't, I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> so. And we're going to keep on dreaming. In the sweetest dreams, I have pictured us together. This is a really cool arrangement that she does here. 
And I love that she makes a heartfelt appeal, a very human appeal. Uh, again, watch the video if you want the speech, but she's just standing and singing. Right? We're talking a lot about performance stuff and not vocal technique stuff. We'll get into some more technique stuff, but this is primarily about performing, this video. We will talk about technique right there, though. So whenever you have a sustained note, you have an opportunity. Okay, and what she's doing, which is really cool, actually, what she's doing is she's taking the sustained note and she's doing, well, there's actually, there's like three things that are going, okay, okay. So the first thing is the lips, the face, okay? When you have pouty lips like this, it's like a trombone. The further out it is, the deeper the sound you're gonna get. You pull that in, the tone's gonna change. Check this out. No. Right? Very different sound. One is more like there was almost like a classical thing to it, and then that that like wah, right? The other thing that she's doing at the end there, at the very end, she's tilting the larynx and she's bringing her her face back, right? So she's using the microphone, she's using mic technique to give herself a decrescendo. She's widening her mouth to give it more of a twang, and then she gives it vibrato by tilting her larynx at the end. I have a couple of videos on tilting the larynx that's beyond the scope of this video, but those two things you could do without any extra videos or technique talk. And it's just know that you have that opportunity when you have a sustained note. more this vocal fry and here's here's the thing that I love about this okay so there's more of this vocal fry and we talked about rhythm but how are you going to treat rhythm when it's in a ballad right so when it's dance music dub da dee da da ba da da ba do here's the white person snapping his fingers like the awkward person I am I'm not a pop musician clearly um uh, I'm just not cool enough. Uh, but the the rhythm here, this is a ballad, okay? So it's a lot smoother. Like, if I did Happy Birthday this smooth, because I don't want to get DMC yet, I'm not going to sing it. Like, I'm um, singing Dream On, but... Happy birthday to you. Like, I can give emphasis to words, even though it's smooth. And she does it so well here. She also has an insane high note, if you haven't seen this. It's bonkers. It went by. The consonants she's hitting here are giving emphasis to very important words. Just because it's a ballad doesn't mean you can't add flavor. In fact, you very much need to. Unfortunately, with this arrangement, she's working it. She's doing the best she can. But when you're in the lower register of your of your range, you can't do much vocally, right? There's only so much to play with. But we know this song. We know it goes up. And I'll spoil it for you, she kills it. If you haven't seen it, it's not. Yeah, here we go. Get it, Chilo. Yes! Yes! Work! And I actually really like this. I think we just need to like have a moment of appreciation like this is decades of experience performing on the world's biggest stage where she knows every camera that's on her she's given due attention she knows exactly how to work even though there's like a crowd of like 25 she's working it like the whole world is watching because a good portion of it is right this is the new year's eve event you cannot 
as a performer replace legitimate experience. Boom. Zero Fs given. JLO, good for you. If you want to be this this good a performer, okay, so yeah, you need to practice your vocal technique. You need to practice. And then you'd go, you're going to need to practice like in front of a mirror, in front of a camera, and you need to like let go. Have you ever been in a, in a bedroom situation where you're listening and you're rocking out and like no one's around? Okay, that's what you actually need to do, but you need to do that with good vocal technique. You need to get that comfortable in front of people. And the way that I would recommend doing that is Know that you can sing the tune that you are singing. Be incredibly comfortable that you do not have to think about it. A lot of vocal technique practice. Then, immediately, go and practice in front of the mirror and just rock out. And notice how when you rock out, certain things like this is going to change your sound. This is going to change your sound. Know what that's going to do. And do it, if you want to be this good, do it for decades. Really, that's... It's work. It's work. And she worked it. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome performance. Uh, and I hope uh, if I, there are new people watching, welcome. If my students are watching, I want you to use this as inspiration and motivation. This is a fantastic singer giving a fantastic performance. And there's so much to learn here and appreciate and be excited about. We should be Instead of being intimidated by this excellent performance, we should say, wow, that was awesome. I want to do even a little bit of that. And go practice in the mirror, lose control over yourself, rock out to your favorite thing, and lip sync it, and just watch yourself and love yourself working it, okay? Like, you've got to exercise your not giving a, an F um, muscle. That's a muscle. Not giving an F. That's an official muscle. We're going to put it in an anatomy book and you got to get started now. Okay. 2021 is the day or is the year. <laughs> I can English. It is the year that I want you to work out that muscle. Love yourself. Put yourself in front of that mirror and give yourself permission to lose control and love yourself. This was a fantastic performance.